everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another episode of the Diamond Dimensions Mod Pack Survival. So last time we paid tribute to Traorus, we've got um, the little shrine up here with the unenchanted diamond sword inside and we actually enchanted a new sword which has Focus 2, Soul Tether 1 and Sharpness 3. Now Focus and Soul Tether are actually new enchantments which are from the... Oh, I've forgotten what it's called, Legend Gear mod. So that that's from those. And the focus, I think, helps when you've got more power-ups on it using um, emblems and stuff like that. And Soul Tether, when you die, I think it adds, if you have a book in your inventory, it will take all of the enchantments that are on the sword that you have and put it into that book. So that is pretty cool. I'm, I'm fairly sure that's what happens. Don't don't count me on that. But anyway, this episode is going to be slightly shorter, probably around 20 minutes. Um, okay, um, where is this monster? Please don't say it's in here. Hello? Hello? It's like when you've got a monster in your um in your um wardrobe. Oh god. Surely and they must be on the ceiling. Why are always on the ceiling? But anyway, I was just saying this is gonna be a slightly shorter episode because I'm trying to stock footage for while I'm away at Insomnia and where is it? So yeah, this will probably be only be about 20 minutes long. So we've got a couple of things to do. Where's where's the monster? Where is the monster? Where are you? Is that him? What's the one closest? Oh, it's one of them. Um, let me just take this out. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Take it out, take it out, take it out. There we go. What did they drop? Oh, they dropped an iron shard. And we've also got the Geb's Blessings as well. So what I want to do for the beginning of the episode is actually go ahead and create something to hold all this new shiny stuff we've got, including the um, idols and stuff that we managed to wash off, which was really awesome. And, oh yeah, you reminded me that Geb's Blessing is a hoe. And the hoe actually allows you to have perfectly fertile soil even when you haven't got water nearby. So it's really cool. It's like having a permanent water source, which is amazing. So yeah, that's really cool. Thanks for showing me that. I needed a lot of help in this series so far and you've been doing an excellent job. So we're going to need to choose actually something to put, um, let me just see what we've got, Geb's Blessing in. So I guess we could use one of those again. Um, I'm not sure though. What should we do? What should we do? This looks really cool when it like opens and closes and stuff. How do I open it? How do I open it? Open, open sesame, open, open now. Okay, maybe not. You don't have to open if you don't want to. But anyway, we've got some more um, little treasures in here. What do we have? I completely forgot. We've got all the dirty idols and stuff. I think then put them in a special chest. Here we go. We've got a diamond idol, diamond brooch, diamond ring. We've got some more horses, flights, some scepters. So let's put all of this stuff in the water and see what we get. So let me just put these here. And put them all in the water. See which ones we get. We seem to get like gold, emerald, and diamonds so far. Speaking of far, how you doing, far? How you doing, buddy? How are you, are you full yet? I don't know if he's going to be full yet. I'm pretty sure the chest is, but how are you doing? This is it. What? <laughs> how did you get some stardust? How did you even get some of that? Um, Did something like... Did one of those meteors come down here? That is pretty weird. I did not know you could get those. Because you can only get them from these star pieces as well. So you kind of collect the star piece and then make it into dust like this. I don't know. I'm going to take that off you far. Don't know how you got that, but you're looking fine for now. You just need a, a little punch. There you go. Um, <laughs> there we go. What was we doing? Completely forgot. Oh, yeah. We need to change all these scepters and stuff. So let's throw that up there. Let's throw this. Let's throw this. Let's just throw them all in and we'll collect them in a second. We've got brooches, we've got necklaces, we've got everything. We've got a sapphire scepter, we've got two sapphire scepters. we got a silver brooch, sapphire necklace, and a ruby ring. Um, I have no idea what to do with these, and they haven't got recipes, they haven't got anything you can use it with. Pretty confused, but we're going to hang them all up in something from the Bibliocraft mod. So let's make something and have a look at what we can have. We can actually have something, um, we need something to put Geb's Blessing in as well. But um, I think I might just go for what I've got the, um, I can't remember what it's called, like Thor's Axe in. Let me just see if I can find it. We've got some cases here. We've also got, oh, we've got some shelves. Ooh, the shelves and the tool racks could be cool. I don't know if these will go in the tool racks, though. I'm not 100% sure. Got a potion shelf, just a normal jungle shelf. Let me try Let me try the shelf quickly. We need um, some slabs and some planks. I'm pretty sure I must have those somewhere, or at least... Uh, yeah, we go. We've got some slabs and some planks, and we've got enough for them as well. So let's see if this works, because I need some kind of space-saving one as well. So there we go. There's an oak shelf. Let me put this down upstairs and see what's wh where we can put it. 
Let's go for, um, oh, I don't know where to put it now. Let's just go for in the middle of these for now. We've got that. Now, what can we put on here? Can we put these on here? We can. We can. Oh, wow. So we've got scepters everywhere. Look, oh, yes. I like that. We're going to make some more of those and put them all down. <laughs> this is awesome. This is. This looks amazing. I might be getting a bit ahead of myself, but it does look cool, okay? It does look cool. So let's just uh, make some more of these. We're going to need quite a few, I think, because there's a lot of artifacts that I still have to put on there. I need to put this scepter on there. I need this, 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 this. So I need one, two, three, four, five. Um, I'm just, I'm not going to display all of the stuff. I don't need another sapphire scepter, so that'll do for now. But we've got two shelves worth. I might put it on the wall if we can do that. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's looking good. I like that. So we've got diamond ring, emerald scepter, diamond brooch, and a dirty idol. No, not a dirty idol. A diamond idol. Look at those. Sparkly, amazing, and beautiful. So let me just put the uh, golden scepter back because we don't really want that on there. And we've already got one of those showing already. Oh, I missed these necklaces. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We've run out of room. So what I'm going to do now is look for one more thing to put um, these beautiful things in. Geb's blessing. We've got a tall rack. What else do we have? We have a couple of things up here. My face cam is probably um, in the way of these, but it's okay. Trust me. Trust me. Um, what have we got that we can put it in? Um, I guess just another case. What did we use last time? Was it just a normal case? We used a blue line. Yeah, I'm just going to use another case. What do we need to make it? We need some slabs. We also need one blue wool. Um, let me see where I've got all this stuff. Oh, no, I can't remember where I put everything. I'm going to have to grab my shears and get some wool. So let's do that. Grab our beautiful wools, and then we shall be able to make one of those. That's cool. How did that egg get out there? That's a pretty jumpy egg. I like that. Very, very cool. <laughs> so something else I want to try and do this episode is make the portal for the Twilight Forest, because we definitely have enough stuff for that. Far no, I picked it up myself. Thank you. It's okay. So we need some blue wool, we need some glass. I'm pretty sure we've got some glass somewhere. I might have put it into building materials. Have we got any? Have we got any? Have we got any? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe in one of these. No, we don't have any. I need some sand then. I could have put it anywhere, to be honest, because I don't know where I would have put that normally. What are we looking at here? What are we looking at? I'm not sure what we've got here. Right, let me just grab some sand and I'll be back in a second. And I've got the sand. I'm back with the sand. I just grabbed two pieces. And um, my camera did go bright then because the sun is still being pesky. At least it didn't have the same consequences this time. That would have been annoying. So I'm going to keep that safely in there. I'm not sure what to do with that just yet. Um, but I will decide in the future. So what's this? I don't... Why did I put that in there? That, that could go in there. No, nope, it can't. It can't go in there. Um, let's just let's just put it in this junk chest. This is kind of like a nether chest for now, but I'm just going to use it as a junk chest because I'm so full of everything right now. Just absolutely chocker of everything. So what am I going to do? What was I doing? I need some lapis. I just need one piece of lapis. Oh, I got this as well. Silver brooch. Did not see that, but let's put that in there. Um, those can go in there. No, they can't. Right. Um... Yeah, I need to make the blue wool. So let me just grab this and put one of those there. There's blue wool, and what else do we need? We also need just slabs, basically. So that's cool. That should be fine. Let's grab those. Grab our glass, which should be done by now. There we go. And we should be able to make one more. So what should I... Oh, I should have made it a different color. Um, oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. How do we craft this again? Oh, no, I think I'm making the wrong one. I need the one... No, maybe not. Uh, I don't know what... Oh, my God. I'm so confused right now. What am I doing with myself? I think it was this. It rings a bell. So let's just do this. Put the blue wool in the middle. And if not, we can use it for something else anyway. So this is the oak case. I love that. That's so cool. It's all 3D and everything. Beautiful. Um, and now we should be able to put that... Yeah, it was that as well. Let me just... Uh, I can't remember how to do this. Open sesame. Do we just... There, there we go. Right, this... Oh, no, I don't... Give them back. <laughs> I didn't want those in there. I want to put Geb's Blessing inside. So there we go. There's Geb's Blessing. Let's shut that up. No. Why are you bouncing around? Come on, let's put that in there. Let's stop messing around now. Shut it. And there we go. It's above the Egyptian armor, and it's looking beautiful. Very nice. And we've got our nice little collection of stuff over here. I can also display some, like, ice stuff over here, which would be really cool, too. 
And there we go. We're about halfway through the episode now, I think. So what I'm going to do is get to making the Twilight Forest portal because we can go and search that in the next episode when I get back from the Insomnia Minecraft Expo. And what we're actually going to need for that is dirt and a fair few flowers. So, wow. Wow, I can't even walk through a door. Let's grab some flowers. Oh, look at our poor naked sheep. It must be so cold. But we need to find some flowers. I think it can be any flowers, but it's got to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, 12, I guess. Let's grab 12 flowers. That's a lot of flowers. We need rose ones. We can have, um, yellow ones. And this portal is actually fairly easy. All you need is a diamond, a bucket of water, and these flowers as well. I want to grab the flower. Give me the flower. There we go. We've got, uh, three altogether. All ready. And, oh, yes, I found all of the flowers. Look at this. We've definitely got enough here now. Grab these, grab these. Let's hope they don't fall down there. Um, I've got five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Beautiful. So we've got one red and the rest are yellow. Let's just make them all yellow just because. <laughs> there we go. Right. All we need now is dirt, a bucket of water, and a diamond. And we'll actually just make the portal straight away. And then I just want to make some more kind of changes to the house. And then that'll probably be the episode for now. I might actually set foot in the dimension just because it would be cool and far. What is wrong with you? Just get, get out. There we go. <laughs> nice little nudge there. So where are we going to put this? I completely forgot. We need... Right, let's put this away. We need our axe. I don't think we have an axe. Oh, we do. We do. I lied. I lied. We also need a place to put Geb's blessing number two <laughs> because we've got two of those. I actually need some dirt as well. That is the most random thing I've needed in this episode. I need... Do I need dirt? Yes, I do, to plant the flowers. I wondered why I needed dirt then for a second. But here we go. We've got uh, eight. We need a couple more than that. Let's just take them from here so they're not too conspicuous. We just need a nice amount there. Uh, 13 should be fine. And we also need a bucket of water. So we just need to grab a bucket. I think it might be in the valuables chest. We've got lava in them. Um, I think I'm just going to make a new one because that would be... That's going to be advisable. I don't want to be messing around with lava, especially when my whole house is made out of wood. So that's not going to, it's not going to end well. Let's put it that way, shall we? So let's get the bucket of water and it's gone. Here it is. Um, we're just going to sleep quickly so we don't get attacked while we're out there. And oh, I just love these so much. They're beautiful. I want to get another stack here. I want to kind of get another stack there. Maybe some more Egyptian stuff here and some ice stuff there. That could be what we want to do for the rest of the episode after we set foot in the Twilight Dimension. We also need like a whole wall full on the other side over, where am I? Over here we can have a wall full of stuff from the Twilight Forest because that mod is going to take a fair while to get through. It definitely is. We also need one diamond as well. Where's the diamonds? There we go. So yeah, let's do this. Let's go out here and see what we can do with this so we need the four in the middle you definitely need that you need like a four by four grid of water you also need um mud or dirt why did i say mud we need dirt around the edge we need dirt there dirt there 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 because otherwise the flowers won't actually plant down which is kind of annoying but it'll look fine it'll look absolutely fine so let's do that let's grab all those because they're handy to have Stay away squids. We don't want the squids to stay away. It's okay. It's okay. They haven't bothered us. It's fine there. Oh god. No, I can't I can't get this to work properly get out get out There we go, right? We need to put the dirt in these little gaps here Let's put that down there that there that there I kind of wanted them to be grass blocks But you can't I don't think you can make that in vanilla not too sure pretty sure you can't but here we go There's flowers all the way around the outside Let's just make, um, no, I was going to make one red, but I don't need to. I also need to chop these down and make sure that I've got something below it, if you know what I mean. So let's just put wood below it. So if we just grab that, and that should be fine. Right, where's the slabs? Slabs along here, slabs along here, slabs along here and here. And now we can put our water in. We're going to need a little bit more water, guys. <laughs> I am so bad at water physics. Let's just take some from here. There we go. That's easier, isn't it? It's easier than going all the way to the sink. We also need to stock up on some food. I think I put some in the uh, in the cooker before I started this episode. I also went through and made all my armor brand new, which is nice and shiny cool. I also had a look at if I could combine these, but you can't actually combine sharpness and smite together, so we're going to have to kind of work out something for that. But here we go. Let's make this portal. Throw a diamond in. Ow! Why would you do that? 
geez, I didn't even know that would happen. But look at that. That is beautiful. That is supposed to be a portal texture. But we've got this issue going down. I'm going to have to fix that for next time. I definitely will. But there is the Twilight Forest dimension. It's full of um, bookcases and, and glass and... Why? Why is this happening? I, I don't understand. But anyway, that is made. That is beautiful. That really hurt, actually. I don't know why the, the lightning came down. But anyway, that's all good. We've made the portal, so we're ready for next episode. And I want to kind of sort out my artifacts. I need some food. Have you finished cooking? There we go. That's what I like to see. Nice amount of pork chops in here. Num, 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 num. I've actually got some food in... Where? In the fridge? Oh, yes, there's loads of food in there. Let me just put the pork chops in the cupboard. Not the best place to keep pork chops, but you know it's Minecraft. It's fine. <laughs> so what can we put on a shelf from the... We can't really... There's not really too much in the ice dimension that we can put on a shelf because most of it's like vanilla Minecraft stuff, but in ice form. There's more stuff that we can put from the ice dimension. Some stuff we could put from the nether, but... You know what? There's not long left of the episode. How about we set foot just for a little bit into the Twilight Forest? I think we're going to do that. Let's do it. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's go down to the Twilight Forest and go in. Let's, why not? Why not? Because sorting out my items is kind of not the best, not the most priority, but it still needs to be done. And I definitely need to sort out these textures. It's freaky. It's really freaking me out. Let's go in. Oh, God. What is going to happen? I'm hoping it's stable. I have tested this mod pack way before I started the series, and it did work. But as I said, the Twilight Forest is an absolutely huge mod. It's going to take forever to get through. We've got lots of generated structures. We've got mazes. We've got loads of mobs. And, oh, God, I think we spawned in the worst place possible. This is... Yeah. Yes, we have. Oh, God. It's going to lag a little bit while it's generating. But we've found... I've got some torches on me. This is... I think this is, like, the most dangerous place I could have spawned. What is that over there? There's a light over there. Um, is there... Let me just bring up the map. Oh, we're in the middle of a forest. Right in there. Right, let's just take... Um, let's just take our waypoints. Let's start by doing that. Because otherwise, we aren't going to find our way home. And we realised that from the um, the atom last time. Let me just light this up a bit. The, the sun is just so annoying. Why would it do this to me? So there we go. The portal is definitely set and we can go on our merry way. So let's have, just let's have a little exploration of this. I'm pretty sure there should be... Why are there fireflies here? Can we hit them? Uh, can we? Yes, we can. Oh, can we catch them? I don't know how we can catch them. I need to look up this mod. I really do because it's so large that I don't think I'm going to remember it all. This is awesome. Let me just check what biome I'm in while I hit F3. We are currently in the dark forest. I'm pretty sure that's not the best place to be. When it gets dark... Lots of nasty spawn, and you will die a very painful death. There's lots of stuff that can poison you, hurt you, all that stuff. But where are we now? Oh, there's boars over there. We've, we're have we now in the dense twilight forest, so that's fine. That is absolutely... It, it sounds nicer than the other ones. So what we're looking for in this dimension is lots of generated structures. There's... Oh, there's skeletons down there. You back off, you punks. I don't want to hear about that. Oh, no! Why would you do that to me? Why? <laughs> don't. You can back off now, son. Oh, there's a big cave system here. You can get lost. Get, get lost! No! I can hit you. I can hit you. I can't hit you. Why? Oh my god, I thought it was glitching out. Oh, there's a deer there. I'm gonna kill it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I missed it. Oh, I killed it straight away. What do I get from that? I get some special meats and some special hides. That's nice. There's some more deers around here, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna murder any more. There's a nether tower in here. That's interesting. Let's take a quick uh, look around for the rest of the episode and I'll find an appropriate place to leave it because we do want to do most of our exploring next time. Look at that bug. Look at that. That is that is something right there. And there's a deer in a tree up the top. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, wow. We can actually go on top of the trees there too. Very nice. This is where Ryan is going to come in handy. All this exploring is just going to be really, really good. So let's go across here, and I want to just try and find a generated structure to end the episode on. Um, I thought that was something. Is it something down there? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's just a boar. It's fine, guys. It's fine. It's just a boar. <laughs> it's just a boar. Oh, I found something in the distance there. What is that? There's a nice little kind of ravine thing there as well with some coal. I'm not sure how many normal ores you can find in here, but... 
Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Where did I just see that? Oh, I've lost it. Where is it? Where? Oh, it's over there. So let's make our way over to it. Let's do it. Let's go over. There's some water over there. Maybe some more dark forest over there. This could be absolutely nothing. It's a... What is that? Is that a well? Can I go in it? Let me in. Let me in. Oh. I don't want to drown. Oh, God. This is a bad idea. This is definitely a bad idea. Is there just coal at the bottom? Are you kidding me right now? There's only coal. Maybe there's, like, different ores that you can get. That's really cool. I like that. So that's the well... I have like explored the Twilight Forest a little bit when testing out this mod pack, but most of it I am definitely unfamiliar with. I know that there is a giant castle that is really worth finding and labyrinths as well. The labyrinth is so intense. I'm, I've, seen, I've seen people do that before. We're going to do that definitely and we're on top of this right now. This is beautiful. Rana is doing work right now. So I think I'm going to leave it here because... Um, I wanted it to be a bit shorter because I want to like start exploring the Twilight Forest in um, a, an episode of its own. We did some really cool stuff today. We got all of our artifacts sorted out from the desert dimension. We actually built and went into the Twilight Forest. So next time, we will be going into the Twilight Forest a little bit more, searching for some of those generated structures. I'll do a little bit of reading up on it. And yeah, we're going to have lots of fun. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Sorry that was a little bit shorter, but I do have to stock up videos for Insomnia, which hopefully we're all having a great time at for those of you that are there. So yeah, that is pretty much it for me. If you do like this series, then please do leave a like. Let's see if we can get to 2,000 likes. That'll be absolutely amazing. Thanks for all the support and continued support it's just amazing and if it just so happens to be the first video that you've seen by me then please hit that subscribe button to join team tdm today for daily minecraft videos and that is going to be it so thanks a lot for watching again guys and i'll see you all next time good bye everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another episode of the Diamond Dimensions Mod Pack Survival. So last time we paid tribute to Traorus, we've got um, the little shrine up here with the unenchanted diamond sword inside and we actually enchanted a new sword which has Focus 2, Soul Tether 1 and Sharpness 3. Now Focus and Soul Tether are actually new enchantments which are from the... Oh, I've forgotten what it's called, Legend Gear mod. So that that's from those. And the focus, I think, helps when you've got more power-ups on it using um, emblems and stuff like that. And Soul Tether, when you die, I think it adds, if you have a book in your inventory, it will take all of the enchantments that are on the sword that you have and put it into that book. So that is pretty cool. I'm, I'm fairly sure that's what happens. Don't don't count me on that. But anyway, this episode is going to be slightly shorter, probably around 20 minutes. Um, okay, um, where is this monster? Please don't say it's in here. Hello? Hello? It's like when you've got a monster in your um in your um wardrobe. Oh god. Surely and they must be on the ceiling. Why always on the ceiling? But anyway, I was just saying this is gonna be a slightly shorter episode because I'm trying to stock footage for while I'm away at Insomnia and where is it? So yeah, this will probably be only be about 20 minutes long. So we've got a couple of things to do. Where's where's the monster? Where is the monster? Where are you? Is that him? What's the one closest? Oh, it's one of them. Um, let me just take this out. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. Take it out, take it out, take it out. There we go. What did they drop? Oh, they dropped an iron shard. And we've also got the Geb's Blessings as well. So what I want to do for the beginning of the episode is actually go ahead and create something to hold all this new shiny stuff we've got, including the um, idols and stuff that we managed to wash off, which was really awesome. And, oh yeah, you reminded me that Geb's Blessing is a hoe. And the hoe actually allows you to have perfectly fertile soil even when you haven't got water nearby. So it's really cool. It's like having a permanent water source, which is amazing. So yeah, that's really cool. Thanks for showing me that. I needed a lot of help in this series so far and you've been doing an excellent job. So we're going to need to choose actually something to put, um, let me just see what we've got, Geb's Blessing in. So I guess we could use one of those again. Um, I'm not sure though. What should we do? What should we do? This looks really cool when it like opens and closes and stuff. How do I open it? How do I open it? 
Open, open sesame, open, open now. Okay, maybe not. You don't have to open if you don't want to. But anyway, we've got some more um, little treasures in here. What do we have? I completely forgot. We've got all the dirty idols and stuff. I think then put them in a special chest. Here we go. We've got a diamond idol, diamond brooch, diamond ring. We've got some more horses, flights, some scepters. So let's put all of this stuff in the water and see what we get. So let me just put these here. And put them all in the water. See which ones we get. We seem to get like gold, emerald, and diamonds so far. Speaking of far, how you doing, far? How you doing, buddy? How are you, are you full yet? I don't know if he's gonna be full yet. I'm pretty sure the chest is. But how are you doing? This is it. What? <laughs> how?